Let me tell you something, Kira. You should be thankful that you're still alive. You know, back in the day, if your little fag butt was talking like that, they would stone you to death. Same as you, Bobby Boo. Oh, wow. You little homosexual has yeah, been stolen to death that, and hung in the middle of the street. Wow. People realize and you know what? I think, wrong. honestly, I think we need that fact because you homosexuals are just a bunch of haters of God. Right. Sick okay. people. The really <laughs> You're talking about the fighting ball, bro. Bobby, 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 Bobby. You're talking about the fighting ball. But you're lost. You understand it. You're only a hell down dog. You don't understand. You can't talk. You're hell down. I can be a dog. Keep barking. That's why your opinion is the minority. The Bible calls you dogs. The Bible calls you fags, dogs. You homosexuals, heathen dogs. And you know what? That's what the point is. You're barking. You're just barking. Keep barking. Oh yeah, he yeah, I do. Special, you know what? Did you guys say I don't do this in real life? You know what? Most yes, I go street preaching. I call people out there in the streets faggots. You know, in my school, you know, I got an argument with some little queer kid about the Bible. I told her she should be stoned to death. And then she goes to repent. You know what? You homosexuals ain't gonna do this. You're dreaming. It's funny to say that when most fags are kind of a victim of that kind of stuff. Right. Got this guy yeah, well, I mean, yeah, you know, I just uh, asked. Oh, really right I there. mean, you know, yeah. if you sound so hateful against God something that literally does not affect his life. I was lost. Life. God, God, God saved me by the power of the gospel. I learned a lot. By God's grace, I learned a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, these people are fatherless child, they don't God. have fathers so for in their lives. Gay people. I, 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 I don't know if it's a bit or not. Whoa, did you, you just say something? You gotta use a voice changer, shut up. You gotta use a voice changer, buddy, because you're so, you're less, you're no. not confident. You gotta use a voice changer to talk. That's, that's, that's okay. because I'm not confident. Uh, people care to yeah, say, buddy, mm -hmm. go visit God himself. Yeah, baby, 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 huh? Baby, huh? It's like Yogi Bear. Hey, uh, hey, Brandon, I have a question. I have a yeah, question. Bro. Yeah, bro. What, 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 what's in it for me if I believe in God? What's in it for you? Uh, I'm just yes. Well, I'll tell you something. You don't have to go to hell. I'll tell you something. Come over here. I'm 18. So the Bible says this, brother. In the Revelation 21 verse 8, but the fearful, unbelieving, the abominable, the murderers, the whoremongers, the sorcerers, the idlers, the liars who have their part in the lake of fire, which is the second death. See, my friend, if you want to live like a dog, you want to go out there and not believe, that's fine. That's on you. That's your choice. And God realized that you're choosing to go to hell. And all I'm trying to do is tell you, all you got to do to get saved is believe the gospel, get born again. There you go. You're saved. What's in it for you? You can have eternal life with Jesus. No more depression, anxiety, fear. It's all love, peace, and joy with the Lord. Yes, worshiping yeah, yeah, yeah. him, serving him, and you know, and those who don't want to believe, like, say, well, what's it for me? Those want to believe. They, I'm, if you want to go to hell, if you said there's no point in life, then go ahead and go to hell. I warned you. If you want to go in there and burn for all eternity and suffering, crying, saying, God, I'm sorry, because you know what? There are people in hell right now who are saying that, God, I'm sorry, God, I repent now, but it's too late. There's sodomites in hell. There's, 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 uh, there were many people who, uh, uh, so-called were Christians, but they were never saved in hell. There are Mormons in hell, there's Muslims, there's Buddhists, there are Hindus in hell. So, and all they had to do was to truly believe in Jesus and get saved. So, like, another question, if you don't mind. I, I, I have, um, when I was at school, like, we were forced to, I say forced, it wasn't bad. Um, we like we had a class about like Bible studies and stuff. Now like what what could I do to strengthen my belief? Your belief? Read the Bible. Just read the Bible. I'm gonna say this. You want, let, me, let me let me hear me out. As a Christian, when I was trying to live holy, live clean, and I was like you know still struggling, um, I read more of the Bible and I got closer to God. It built up my faith because the Bible says faith by communion by the word of God. So by you reading the Bible, that's gonna strengthen your faith. He said, well. No, no, it's not. It will, brother. Trust me, because it strengthened my faith. It really did. Uh, and um, a lot of and he said, "Well, I'm still, you're still struggling. Listen to some preaching. Um, listen to some old-fashioned Holy Ghost preaching. Listen to um, uh, Jack Hiles, Lester Roloff, these old-fashioned preachers. You know, they were Holy Ghost filled. They preached the Bible. They preached the Word of God, and it, it will help you to it will strengthen you." And make sure you use the King James Bible, because these modern translations, they have a King's very, yeah, they have a very different gospel. These modern, these modern translations, they use, um, they remove hell, like the NIV, I call it the HIV, the NIV, because it removes hell out of the Old Testament 31 times for a place of grave. So that's why many people today don't believe in hell. That's why I heard Christians say, oh, hell is a separation from God. Because you know why? These people are reading these modern translations. They don't know about hell. They, don't... they could have been up there. Mm -hmm. 
so I have my soundboard went plain. So if anything, I can send you, uh, if you have my Discord, I can send you a website to get a free King James Bible. And I, I can send you videos why you should only use King James. Um, type in a documentary called um, New World Order Bible Translation. Um, my pastor, my old pastor, he made a whole documentary on it. And um, showing you in detail why the King James is the word of God. Because you know what, Catholics, did you know the Catholics actually killed um, the King James translators? Because you know, because King James was you know getting the Bible to the public, showing these people what, the, what Greek and Hebrew mean. Because you know the King James was translated from the original Greek and Hebrew. Now you got these Catholics and these Orthodox will attack that and get mad over it. And you know what? The, at the end of the day, as long as you know what the Bible says and you realize that the, our final authority is the Bible, you're fine, brother. I came across a lot of Catholics on here, a lot of Orthodox. I show them from Scripture why Catholics are not saved, and Orthodox is they all believe in a work based salvation. They trust in their works. Now, they use James chapter 2, but that's why the Bible says you must rightly divide the Word of God. James chapter 2 was not written for us Gentiles, it was written for the 12 tribes of Israel. And I told them, read book, the book of Romans, read the book of John, the Gospel according to John, the Gospel according to Luke, and the thing, Ephesians, Corinthians. You're going to realize that salvation has been by faith in Jesus Christ, by God's grace. You put your faith in Jesus Christ and His death, burial, resurrection, and the, God's grace will be on you. And there you go. You get saved, born again. Your blood, the blood of Jesus will wash you, cleanse you. You say, well, I still have sin. I'm still struggling. Guess what? They're not going to stop sinning because the Bible says that for all have sin come short. They're just going to have sin. The Bible says a dumb thought is a sin. So, but let me see. But you can stop big sins like get rid of pornography, get rid of um drinking. If you're drink, if you're drunk, if you're a drunk drinker, get rid of drinking, wick, you know, wicked liquor, you know, smoke, and get rid of that. There you go. You stop some sins, but you're still gonna have sin because you know what? At the end of the day, I still struggle with certain things, and I, I'm a sinner. But I'm saved by the grace of God, and my faith is counted for righteousness. Don't trust your works to save because the Bible says that you know our filthy, you know our wor our works are just as filthy rags. To God. Yeah. It's all about faith, brother. And thank God for Jesus. Thank God for coming down as Jesus and, and saving our, saving us. Alright, thank you. Know you. What? <laughs> yeah. No problem, brother. No problem. Glad to help.